In a recent vlog, we visit Kon Can to have bok ma noodles. If you remember them, they are the squishy rice paper dumplings quickly made over the mouth of a steaming pot. It was quite unusual to find them in a tasty tum yum noodle broth, and I thought I should show you the unusual savory snack whence these treats originate. Let's jump off the BTS Sky Train in downtown Bangkok at the Ratchatoe Station. Take a short walk to Peppery Road, crossing the street and walking inside Soy 7. This is a small alley with a mosque and a great collection of halal restaurants. There I found one older woman making a street food snack called Khao Kriya Bok Ma. I was immediately struck by the woman's friendly face and surprised to find anyone, in Bangkok anyway, still making this antiquated Thai snack over furiously burning coals. <laughs> Getting started early in the morning, the woman patiently makes this special Thai treat one by one. She starts by smoothing out a dollop of watery rice flour batter and throwing a conical lid on top. She's using a smaller version of the same odd looking pot that Thais use to make sticky rice. On top of this necked pot is a sort of cheesecloth, which is the perfect tool to give these Thai street food snacks their delicate texture. After removing the lid, she adds a small ball of spiced peanut filling and divides the newly formed rice paper in half. Then she gently folds them, takes them off the heat, and dabs them with butter so they don't stick together. These authentic Thai delicacies get their color from the use of pandan leaf, which lends a light green color, and the light blue purple you see comes from adding the buds of anchan or butterfly pea flower. This makes them look pretty, but please take my warning, these are all together savory and only slightly sweet. They're eaten similar to the more popular mi and kam in a sort of lettuce wrap where you add spicy bird's eye chili and fried garlic is sprinkled on top. This traditional Thai appetizer definitely isn't for everyone, but you should try it anyway because it's quickly losing popularity to more modern snacks. Finally, although this version does not, be aware some versions do contain pork and shrimp. Happy eating and if you want to see more unique Thai street food, like this video and subscribe for the next episode of Bangkok Bites. Peace.